Grade 6 math number 6.6, .6, Precision and Accuracy for Measurement. Precision is the quality of being accurate or precise in measurement. The smaller the unit of measure used, the more precise the measure will be. Accuracy is the closeness of a given measurement to the actual measure of the object. When Oliver Smoot was a student at MIT, that's the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, his body height was used as the base of measurement to measure the distance across the Harvard Bridge in Boston. At five foot seven inches, one Smoot, his height, became a measurement. The bridge was 364.4 Smoots. Isn't that funny? Well, we can use anything to measure as long as we do it carefully. But when we use smaller units, we get a more precise measure. If we had a little pencil that was only five inches long and we used measurements that were in feet, we wouldn't be able to know that it was five inches. We would just know that it wasn't quite a foot. Now, when you look at a ruler, there's a starting line right here. You're not supposed to start measuring on this edge here, which some people do. To get an accurate measurement, you should start on the zero line. That's right here. See? That's this long line, the first line. That will be, give you an accurate measurement, okay? Even for millimeters and centimeters, there's a starting line. See? You don't use the edge of the ruler. You use the starting line. So the centimeter starts here, not here. This tiny little space is one millimeter. And then this is one centimeter. See? If I wanted to measure the pen, I could say it's about a centimeter, according to this measure. In real life, it's probably about five or six inches. But to this measure, it looks like it would be about a centimeter. But if we can use smaller measurements, a millimeter, we can see it's about 12 millimeters, see? So it's a little more accurate to use the smaller measure. The smaller units help us to be more precise. Now, engineers use a thing called a fractional caliper. And it's got a little dial, and this moves and opens this mouth up. And as it opens and closes this mouth right here, it tells you on a digital one at least, what the size is. And it's very, very precise for tiny, tiny objects. Little tiny screws and little tiny computer pieces. It could be as accurate to one thousandth of a millimeter. One thousandth of a millimeter. It can measure a tiny, tiny, tiny thing. That's way more precise than a ruler, isn't it? It's very tiny. Well, choosing the correct tool to measure will determine your accuracy. A digital scale may be more accurate than a spring scale. If I wanted to weigh five grapes, I don't know if the spring scale would really be able to show me accurately how much it would be. It may not even move the arrow. But if I put it on a very sensitive digital scale, I might be able to weigh five little separate grapes. So we need to choose the appropriate tool. If you wanted to measure the length of your backyard, would you use feet, inches, or miles? Well, it depends on how big your backyard is. It would have to be pretty big to be miles. But you'd probably measure it in feet. And if you wanted to measure for a replacement window for your house, would you measure it in feet, inches, or millimeters? Well, you don't want any gaps, and you don't want any air getting in and out. You want it to seal correctly, so you'd probably want to measure it in millimeters. Certainly inches more than feet. And to measure the volume of liquid in a swimming pool, would you use cups, gallons, or pints? Well, cups and pints are pretty small. You'd have a lot of them. You could use gallons. So you want to use the cho to choose the appropriate measure and the appropriate tool, okay? Now, I want to let you know that you're going to need a ruler to do the book work. For Unit 6.6, .6, you're going to need a metric and customary measure ruler for the book work, okay? You won't be able to complete it without it. It's got things in there that it wants you to measure in uh, centimeters and millimeters and inches. So see if you can dig one up before you do the schoolwork, okay? All right, well, I hope that this was informative. And now you know that there's fractional calipers that can measure tiny, tiny things by engineers. And you know that 
you can get a very accurate measurement when you use very tiny measures, right? I'll see you next video. Bye.